G'day folks, Mad Aussie here and welcome to the Aussie Report. In this episode we're going to take a look at Lerpa's update to the return of the returning sovereigns. So back in March 2022, uh, Lerpa brought a lot of the traditional leaders from around Australia and brought them together to Canberra to announce the return of the returning sovereigns and he's just recently done an update to that process um, the other day. So this video has just had a slight edit, uh, nothing important. And um, yeah, other than that, it's pretty well in its entirety. So like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Hey, yarn everyone. Um, I haven't been on this thing for a while. Um, in fact, I haven't been on nearly anything for a while. Um, and that's not to say that I'm not working hard. Um, just because I'm not on social media, I'm actually going harder in the background, working on the important things that need to get done so that we can actually make the transition that we've got to make. Um, so um, I hope everyone's well. I hope you're all well out there and staying strong through this madness and looking after yourselves, looking after your family, looking after each other and looking after your community. And... At the end of the day, that's what's, that's what's going to get everyone through this, this crazy moment is, is looking after each other. So, um, so take care of yourselves and put your hand out and help anyone else around you. You can help. And that's how we're all going to get through this, this, um, this madness. I just wanted to get on tonight and do a bit of a live just to, um, just to, just to, um, clear up a few things. There's a few things that need to be cleared up about the, um, the original sovereign tribal federation. And there's a few things that need to be uh, cleared up about the gathering in Central Australia. And I just wanted to update people and bring people up to speed as to where we're at as, as, as the tribal sovereigns, um, what we're doing and where we're heading. Um, and, um, yeah, just, just invite everyone to be a part of the journey and keep walking with us and keep walking together because that's, that's ultimately what's going to get us over the line is, is walking together. Uh, I'll update you on where I've been at. I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll just get my personal stuff out of the way. Not that not that it's anyone's business, but there's a lot of people out there that support me that have been uh, supporting my family. Um, so it's only fair that I update you on where we're at. We're still dealing with the uh, police and court matters where um, I've been arrested uh, twice, uh, assaulted twice, and charged twice uh, by the police for assaulting them. Um, all fabricated, all, all are set up, all designed to silence me. Um, and, um, obviously some of you are aware and some of you aren't, uh, they even came after my children and my family and have assaulted and charged my fam, uh, my children as well. And they, in fact, they've charged my entire family for something. Um, that's how desperate they are to silence me and that's how desperate they are to, to, um, try and knock me down. But it's not working. Um, once they went after my children, they've just released another beast inside that is going harder. Um, and like I said, just because I'm not in the public eye doesn't mean I'm not fighting. Um, I've, we've been doing some um, um, great stuff in the courts and, and, and taking them on in the courts, taking them on head on in relation to their um, unlawful position. And, and we haven't stopped bombarding them from many different angles. So, so their, their assault on me and my family hasn't made me quiet. It's actually, um, it's actually made me louder and, and we're going to hit the way we're hitting them harder than ever. Um, so, so I've still got court to deal with, um, next Monday and uh, I'm not sure they'll, they'll set a hearing and, but look, the evidence that we've found shows that the police have lied, that the police are lying. Um, and, um, they're going to have a very hard time proving their case. And off the back of that, we'll be, we'll be, uh, privately prosecuting every police officer, Jamie Chalker, uh, the Northern Territory body politic, Michael Gunner. We're going to go for all of them um, because this is a politically targeted attack. Um, where have we been with the sovereigns? I'll, I'll update. I'll up, um, don't worry about the sword. It doesn't matter where that is. Um, I'm going to update you. Hey, guys, I don't read everything, so please forgive me if I don't respond to all the comments. I only browse every now and then. Um, but I'm not. I, 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 I'm happy to take questions, but I'm, I'm more on here just to give some information, update you. I'm not interested in sitting on here for a long time. And I don't want to sit on here and talk shit. I just want to give you an update, give you the information. But forgive me if I, um, forgive me if I, um, don't, um, answer the questions, every question that's put up on the bottom. Um, uh, the sovereigns, we've been, um, 
we've been we've been working hard behind the scenes, doing a, a range of stuff, um, talking with various groups, um, common law groups, and, and other other groups around the country. Um, we've been um, we did a trip to Canberra. A lot of you to be aware of. Um, I think Brother Romeo is on here. Um, Romeo, with a lot of other people around the country, all contributed and helped us take take a group of elders down to Canberra. Um, and, and I thank everyone for their kind donations. The trip was an amazing success. We 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 had um, representatives from tribal groups that span from from about 400 k's um, northeast of Perth, all the way through to Tiwi Islands, from the Central Desert up to uh, Tennant Creek, um, around the Catherine region, up to uh, Arnhem Land, East Arnhem Land, Latakia, Tiwi Island. So we had we had massive representation on that Canberra trip, and it was an amazing trip. The purpose of that trip was for, for a number of things. The, the first, the first, the first, the first uh, goal was to um, put out our public statement to the world of the returning sovereigns. Now, for those of you who are a bit confused about that, I'll explain why. Now, we've always been merely looking at this from a legal standpoint. Um, 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 we've been looking at this from a legal standpoint of where we go where we fit and, and how we can walk with the Australian people to find our freedom. So it comes down to the simple fact that there's a, we're under US military occupation. We come under, we come under statute, which is military law, and we are currently controlled, uh, owned and occup occupied by the US government, the corporate US government and the US military. The US military has a document, it's called the International Laws of War and Occupation. In that document, it states very clearly that statute overrides common law. And that's why we're not getting any success in the, in the courts. We're going in, um, we're, we're arguing the truth. We're standing in truth under common law and natural law that, uh, you, you can, you can, you can only stand with the facts. Um, they're not operating under that. They're operating under statutes or their courts. They're operating under statute, which is military law, military rule, right? And and they're, they're a corporation operating under statute. So they have no legitimate standing. They have no lawful standing. Their courts are illegitimate. The government is illegitimate. And the sooner we all wake up to that simple fact that we're dealing with a corporation, the sooner we'll realise that um, they, they don't have the right to do what they've been doing to us. So um, in the international laws of war and occupation, there, 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 there's a, um, um, a section in there which refers to the fact that statute overrides common law and the only thing that overrides statute is the returning sovereign. And it states very clearly in there that upon the returning sovereign advising the, um, the belligerent occupiers that they have in fact returned, that under international law and the international laws of war and occupation, the belligerent occupier must stand down. So we've done that on two occasions, one at the Darwin Naval Base to the military and the world um, with, with senior law people from across the territory. And we, we, we also went down to Canberra and did um, um, made, the, made the declaration public to the world and advised the world that the sovereigns have in fact returned. Um, the, the other purpose of coming to Canberra was one to, to extend our hand to the non, all the non-tribal people uh, down in Canberra fighting for our freedom. And the purpose of doing that was to unite everyone, to let, to let everyone know that we see them, we're with you, we're standing with you, we're uniting with you, and together we're, we're all going to walk forward and, um, and, and take our freedom collectively. So Canberra was about telling the world that we've returned and it was also about um, putting our hand out to um, the, the rest of the country to walk hand in hand in, in, into a prosperous future, standing under um, truth, honour, um, and, 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 and integrity, There's, which which none of that is displayed in this current system as as we see it as it is. So that's that's that was the purpose of Canberra. We we feel it was a success. We we met some beautiful people. We've made some friends for life. Um, we've we we work we're, we're currently working with people who were in Canberra that we met. On the central de desert gathering, so we're already practicing what we're preaching, which is Wittichen, which is black and white coming together, working together, and creating a healthy future and a way forward. 
So um, it was it was an honour to go to Canberra and meet all those beautiful people, um, and we, and we met we met some amazing people um, with, um, with with hearts of gold and, and 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 just courage courage beyond belief. So Canberra was very very successful, and and we again we thank everyone for assisting us to get the tribal people there. A lot of people made donations, and we're very grateful. So um, so thank you all for for helping us. It's um, that 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 goes a long way. I'm just going to see if Brother Mark can jump on with me because we're going to clear it, uh, we're going to clear up a few things. Um, there's been a lot of stuff thrown around about the sovereigns, um, uh, especially in relation to to a, to a UN uh, a UN declaration or a, a declaration that we read out to the world and and read out to the UN and at the at the UN uh, full council and um, it was a declaration. Okay, it was not a contract. There is no agreement. We have never signed anything with the UN in any form to agree to any sort of partnership, agreement, contract, treaty, or anything of the like. Um, so, so to the people out there, and we know who did it, okay? Um, um, it was a tribal woman and non-tribal woman that came to a gathering. They didn't get to meet with us. They got a bit disgruntled, went away, underlined some key words in a document. Now, I can underline any words in any document that anyone writes, and I could pull out something that makes it look... Um, in, you know, a sus or, or concerning. Anyone can do that. But the problem, the problem, the problem with, um, the, the UN declaration, um, is, um, people aren't reading the whole text. Okay. You've underlined seven or eight words and then you're pulling out of that that we have a contract with the UN. All right. It's a load, load of fucking crap. All right. Um, just, just, just cut it out. Pull your heads in. And I, I'll explain why. Actually, you know, if Mark gets on, great, we'll bang on it. But um, um, we'll, we'll just get. In, I'm just going to explain a little bit about that declaration. So, if, if before I read out the declaration, I'm just going to take you through the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People. It's called UNDRIP, um, and that was adopted by the General Assembly on the Thursday, the 13th of September, 2007. And, and Australia, Australia signed that declaration. The declaration is the most comprehensive international instrument on the rights of Indigenous peoples. It establishes a universal framework of minimal standards for the survival, dignity and well-being of Indigenous peoples of the world and it elaborates on existing human rights standards and fun fundamental freedoms as they apply to Indigenous peoples. The declaration is particularly significant because Indigenous people, including Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples, were involved in its drafting. Now, I'm not going to read through the entire declaration, but um, I'm sure, surely, surely, surely you understand that. So what it's basically saying is the UN um, Rights of Indigenous People Declaration is a minimal standard of survival and, and dignity and well-being of Indigenous peoples around the world, Right. Let me repeat that. It is a minimal standard. It is a framework for a minimal standard of what is entitled and expected of countries who have Indigenous people where colonisation has occurred, right? The minimal standards are um, basic things like health, education, um, our rights to self-determination, our rights to self-govern, um, our rights to establish our, our own trade. Um, these are the rights that we're entitled to. These are the rights that they were entitled to before 1788, before the British arrived here. And they're rights that we're still entitled to, both as the sovereign and under international law. So when you go to our declaration, okay, the um, Declaration of Self-Determination and Nationhood of the Autonomous, Autochthonous, Original Tribal Peoples of Terra Australis. All right. Now, now, we call it Terra Australis just so people know what we're referring to. Uh, the Westerners had many names for this, this continent. Um, but we, we had, we, we, we have and had multiple tribes, okay, or nations that are their own autonomous tribes in their own right. So this continent was covered with multiple tribal nations across this entire land, still is today. A lot have been massacred and decimated from colonization. But those tribes still exist, those nations still exist, and those boundaries still exist. 
So I'll take you to our to our statement, and if you if you pay attention, it says, "We, the autochthonous and original tribal peoples of the great southern land, the noble peoples of the great southern land, knowing in this modern era as Australia, support and address the United Nations in that we solemnly proclaim the United Nations declarations on the rights of Indigenous people as a standard of achievement to be pursued in a spirit of partnership." Truth and mutual respect. All right. Now, a lot of people have taken that sentence and only looked at the part where it says, we support and address the United Nations in that we solemnly proclaim the United Nations declarations on the rights of Indigenous people. People are underlining those sections and trying to make out that we have a, we have an agreement, um, with the UN, which, which is false. It's, um, it's not the case. There is no, there is no treaty and agreements. If you, if you paid attention to what I just read and read the whole context, we agree to the United Nations minimal standard that we are entitled to as sovereign tribal people under international law. That's all we agree to. That's all we have, we have, we have mentioned in relation to, um, adopting, um, their declaration on the rights of indigenous people. So there is nowhere in here that it states that we have entered into a contract. There is nowhere in here that says that we support the United Nations or work with the United Nations or agree with the United Nations. There's nothing in here whatsoever. So to to all the other people, both in the political field and, and those in the community and, 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 and some of you people out there who are um, love getting on their stuff and talking shit, all right, stop it, right? There is no UN partnership between the original sovereign tribal federation and the United Nations. In fact, we have nothing to do with them, don't want nothing to do with them, and they have no jurisdiction, no right or no place on this continent whatsoever, as do all the other corporations that are raping and pillaging this land while they're genociding the sovereign tribal people of this land. Now, keep in mind too, people, we are dying earlier than we've ever died before. We are dying at a faster rate than we've ever died before. Now, the genocide with murdering guns, weapons, poison, and everything that took place in the early days has all been done under stealth now. It's been done under systematic genocide. Okay. I've seen it. I've worked in this, in this, um, in, in, in this, in this section, um, um, uh, with our communities and the government all my life. Um, and, and, and without question, it is systematic genocide and we're being genocided. So the UN and, and groups like that, they're a part of that. The Australian government, the corporation impersonating government is complicit in genocide and ethnic cleansing of, of the tribal people here. The Australian people who sit by idly are complicit if you don't act. If you are not aware, that's okay. Ignorance is bliss sometimes. But if you are aware and you're complicit and you're accepting it, then, then what sort of country are we? So it's time for everyone to just See the truth for what it is, all right? The sovereign tribal people of this land have been under attack for 200, 233 years, all right? We have been under attack nonstop. The rest of the country has now been under attack for two and a half years, and now you realise how uncomfortable it is and how much we've been crying out for help and why we've been trying to call out this corporation that's a government that's killing us because now, now they're trying to get us all, all right? They're coming for us all. They're after us all. They don't care about the colour, the race, the breed. It's all about the globalist agenda and we're all in big trouble. So we have two options. We either pull together, work together, stand together or we fall over together. And that's the reality. If we think that because they've pulled back on the mandates, everything's okay, that was just a warm-up. There is more to come. There is a lot more to come and they are not going to stop until they take the resources, take the lands and they reduce the numbers and they're left with a manageable amount of people, slaves, to rape and pillage this land. That's the agenda. It's a land grab, people. It's got nothing to do with our well-being. In, in this country, it's a land grab. In the Territory, I've seen it. They've set up hotspots in all the community areas where our people have said no to mining. They've absolutely annihilated them. People are getting sick and they're going to push them off the land and they've already done deals to sign off those lands and I've got all the maps and I've already put out a video. You can go onto my YouTube channel, Lompa Lompa, and you can see it on there. It's a land grab, straight 
straight up. The maps are on there. The information is on there. Go and check it out. So, so, so there is no deal with the UN. All right. Stop freaking yourselves out. Um, and, 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 and cut the rumors out, you know, and, and, and people, people who are calling us cowards, um, and, um, saying that we won't take the declaration down for us, for the tribes, for the sovereigns, that declaration is the best piece of writing we've ever seen because it declares our position to the world. It declares our rights to the world. And it declares that we have in fact returned to take our self-determination. So no, we won't be taking it off our website. We're proud of that document and that declaration. There is no contract in it with anybody and it will be staying up there because that's the facts. We have the right to self-determination, self-government, self, self, um, trade, whatever we choose. That's our right. Okay. So whether you like it or not, and anybody who wants to oppress us and keep us in that enslavement state, well, then you know better than the last, um, criminals that have been doing this for 233 years. If you think that we are just going to um, say, no, we're, we're not interested in our rights, we're, we're, we're happy to stay however you choose to make us stay, well, then you're kidding yourself, all right? Get over it, all right? You don't have control over what our rights are, and we're going to take our rights. But we want to take our rights, and we want to walk with the Australian people. Because at the end of the day, as the sovereigns, it's our responsibility to look after everybody and everything that's upon our land. The... the um, the sovereigns, the sovereigns are, 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 um, are standing not just for the tribal nations, but we are standing for everyone and we, we want to walk with everyone. Um, I think I'm just going to touch on the central gathering. Um, and, and, um, and, and, and bring you up to speed on what's happening there. So we are still gathering in central desert. Um, Ricardo Bossi was on a, um, um, on a, um, live or, or a interview with a guy the other night. I forgot his name, but he's, he's making claims that we are having a rally out there or a protest. The Central Desert Gathering is a tribal law gathering for our senior law people across the Central Desert in Australia. It's for our sovereigns to come together. It's not a rally. It's not a protest. We are not, we are not inviting people to come there and carry on, right? And the only people that are coming there need to come there with respect and understand that they are coming to 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 witness and be a part of a very important gathering for our tribes. Now the people that are going to come there, we we have allocated some days to share with everybody what comes out of our meetings and and to enjoy our time together under the spirit of Wittichen. Wittichen, the Wittichen gathering at this event is a is a um it's a it's a healing, a cultural healing um, gathering, and that's that's on the last three days of the events. So we're going from the 20, uh, 19th of July to the 29th. Um, the 20, 27th, 8th, and 9th of July is 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 the Wittichin gathering time. That's 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 where we're inviting other people. Um, we we do invite people to donate. If you can't make it, look here's the reality: we have no resources. Everybody is fighting in this fight, and, and especially in OSTF that have been in it for many years. There's no, we don't get paid. There's no money. This is off everyone's own back. Um, and, 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 and we have a lot of elders that we are trying to bring together. So I'm putting the call out. Please go to the original Sovereign Tribal Federation website. We have a donate link in there. If you can't, if, if you're not coming to the gathering, if you want to support us, everybody keeps saying, what do we do? How, how do we help? Well, right now you can help us get the elders together. You can help us get the law people together. Because when they come together, we're not only going to be um, endorsing a lot of stuff and, and, and making declarations um, to the world, but we're going to be extending our hand and, and showing the Australian people how we believe we can go forward together. So helping bring those law people together is critical to us taking the biggest step we've ever t taken in this sovereign fight. And we're asking everybody to please donate. Please dig deep. You know, whether it's a dollar, a hundred bucks, a thousand, it, it all helps. Okay. You know, if, 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 if we, if, if we had half the people out there that want to help just give us a dollar each, that's going to go a long way. It's for food. It's for fuel. It's for, tra um, transporting the others for vehicles. Um, and, and it's going to be for making sure that everybody's taken care of there. It is going to be a great cultural experience. 
uh, for people who, who are going to attend, um, you, you, you're going to get an experience that you've, um, um, you've never experienced in your life. It's going to be an un- unbelievable celebration and a, an unbelievable coming together. We are, we are planning some cultural stuff there. Um, it's going to just, it's, it's just going to be incredible. It's going to be a really good gathering. The first six days, the first three days, um, is a closed original sovereign tribal federation meeting. That'll be a meeting with the original sovereign tribal federation tribal council members only, um, sitting with the law people and just discussing, um, our, our position. The, that'll be the 19th, 20th, 21st. Um, I believe the 22nd was supposed to be for travel, but we, we, we we're meeting in one place. So we've got the, um, 23rd, 24th, 25th is going to be, uh, the, um, time for all sovereigns to come. Now, if you're a, tri- if you're a tribal person on this continent and you're coming to that gathering, you don't need to buy a ticket. If you're coming to the gathering for, for the sovereign business, you do not need to purchase a ticket. Okay. The ticket is for people who are just coming for the three day celebration at the end of it on the uh, 27th, 28th and 29th. That's, that's the ticketed event. Now, if people are only coming for that, then you need to get a ticket. But for, for the original sovereign tribal people out there that are coming for the six day sovereign gathering or for the three day sovereign, sovereign gathering, if you're not an OSTF member, you do not need a ticket. Okay. Um, so please, please spread that message. People are getting confused and thinking that the, um, 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 they, yeah, they're thinking that they've got to, um, pay. You don't have to pay. The tribal people don't have to pay who are coming for the sovereign tribal business. Um, it's only for the celebration on the last three days. If that's all, all people need to pay for. Um, so, so what's going to happen in Alice is we're, we're going to be holding, holding some, um, meetings, holding some talks and making some decisions with our law people. We keep talking about law. We keep talking about culture and, and, and doing it properly. Um, the purpose of the Central Desert, Desert Gathering is to give our strong law holders in the desert an opportunity to come and hear the truth and speak and give their advice on which direction we take. And, and that's the only way we can do it. We have to, we have to be as inclusive as we can, um, with both, um, our remote tribal people and our urban tri- our tribal people. Uh, it's important. And when we bring that knowledge together, um, that's the power. Okay. That's the power. A lot of the stolen generation and people have been removed over the years, um, and basically taken away to, to learn the ways of those who have, um, taken over this land. And being able to go back and work with our tribal people to rectify it and work a way forward. And that includes working with the Australian people because I keep reiterating this, but it's all about unity, guys. It's all about black and white coming together. It's all about the tribal people coming together and, and, and we need to reconcile amongst ourselves, the tribes. Okay. There's a lot of division. There's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, um, breakdown and then the system's designed for that. These guys who came here, um, and, 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 um, invaded these lands. Um, they've been practicing for many thousands of years or for thousand, you know, for a couple of thousand years before they got here. So the art of war was well and truly in place when they got here. And we've been divided. We've been conquered and we have a lot of people who are stuck in the matrix, stuck in the corporate realm and are happy to sit there, fill their pockets and not really do anything for their people. And that's unfortunate. There's some people in there that are just outright sellouts. Some people in there keep committing treason and you know who you are. And there's a lot of people in there that actually care and are trying to make a difference, but they can't. And the reason they can't is because this government is a corporation that will never allow for solutions to come for the tribal people. So we, um, we, we invite, we invite everyone to, um, support our Alice gathering. And if you can't, if you can't make it there, like I said, make a donation. But, um, we're going to be, we're going to be in a location where we don't have any internet, but we are going to make days and set times to come into town and we're going to, we're going to put out, um, information. We're going to be putting out declarations that we make at the, um, gathering. Um, and we're also going to be, um, hopefully doing some live Zoom sessions, um, coming, coming into, into, into Alice Springs and getting on some live Zoom sessions. 
so we can update people. And we will be putting time aside for an international sovereign Zoom session, inviting our brothers and sisters from all over the planet to come on a live Zoom with the sovereigns from the gathering and, and, and discuss um, where we're at and where we're, he where we're heading. Um, um, you know, it's not all political. They, it's the, the gathering is, a large part of the gathering is healing. It's about culture and healing. So we're going to be um, bringing in um, dancers. We're going to have um, cultural dancers. We're going to be have healers there. We're going to be doing all sorts of stuff that's going to make this this gathering um, uh, one of a kind, one off, and something that's never happened before. So it's a it's an important time for the Australian people to get behind us and help us out. You can go onto our website, the Original Sovereign Tribal Federation website. Um, and, and, and you can get, um, um, you can get, get the tickets on there. So they're available on the website. Um, yeah, look, we'll, we'll try and, we'll try and let people know ahead of time when we're going to do the Zoom. We'll work it out early in the, um, in the gathering and, and we'll put it out early, um, as to what day we're going to be able to drive into Alice Springs and, and, um, get on, get on a Zoom. Um, the location is about, it's about 45 minutes, 50 minutes outside of Alice Springs. Um, it's uh, very limited in terms of um, um, services. So be prepared to come out there and camp for a few days. Uh, bring your own water, bring, bring your own food. Um, there's, no, there's no power out there. So um, if you require power, you can travel back into Alice. It's only 45 minutes away. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the location will be at uh, Love Creek. Um, just to, just out of um, Alice Springs, and people who get the tickets when you get the tickets, <clears throat> and level the and level the information on there. You know, um, for, and like I said, for for people who are trying to discredit OSTF, um, and and look, understand this: o OSTF is this. OSTF is not David Cole, Lomper, Mark McMurtry, or any individual. All right, Mark convened OSTF under the guidance. And, and the direction of senior law people from the, from, um, um, Jolu in, in cent, central desert at Ayers Rock. They gave him very strict instructions to set up a body where all the tribes, all the tribal nations in their own capacity, in, the, uh, in their own capacity can join up to a collective body and collectively work together to look after all country, right? Because that's who we are. All our, all our tribal nations are separate tribal nations, but our dreamings, our songlines and the connection is all one. So we're all one people, but we have multiple, multiple se separate uh, tribal nations across the country. So it's really important that people understand each tribe has its own boundary. Um, and quite often as you pass through various regions, the language changes. But in a particular region, there will be a, a, a commonality in the different language groups and, 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 and the tribes. So just want to try and dispel some of the uh, confusion out there around the tribes, how we operate <clears throat> and, um, and, 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 um, the fact that there are multiple tribal nations. I just wanted to cover those things. Um, and, um, just put my love out to everyone, really. Um, I hope you're all doing well. I, I, I hope everyone's keeping strong. Um, and I, I hope, I hope everyone's, um, not losing faith. Don't, 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 don't give in. Right. This is, this is a long battle. And if we wake up every day and we look after ourselves and we look after each other and we look after our minds, it's important that we, we look after our, ourselves, guys. Um, take the time out to go and sit on the medicine. The medicine is the land. The land is our ancestors. Take the time to go and sit on that medicine. Take the time to lay down, feel it, breathe, cry, laugh. Not think. Um, this is the most important time for us to stay strong within ourselves. And everyone's under pressure. Everyone's feeling, feeling the struggle. And everyone's can, probably, and, and most people are, are scared. People don't know where this is going to go and where it's going to end. But what I do know is this. I do know that if we can work together and we can create our own destiny, we can create the beauty and the future that we want to all enjoy together. One of peace, harmony, respect, and, and common, common decency amongst each other. That's what we have the opportunity to do. 
there's, um, you know, Sun Tzu's The Art of War, a quote, a quote from there, which is, the, the greatest victory is one in which blood is not shed. Well, they've already shed a lot of blood. They've already harmed a lot of us. Um, and, and, and we, we, we can't let it go to that stage. We can't let it go to violence. We must do this peacefully, honorably, and do it, do it within the, the, the parameters of our, our, our lawful standing truth. And like I said, statute overrides common law, the returning sovereign overrides statute. Standing with the sovereigns, standing with our truth, creating a, a new direction forward for everybody. We've done a lot of work around um, 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 setting, up, setting up our, our structures. We are, we are awaiting the central gathering to have all those um, things that we've been working on endorsed by all the tribal councils. Um, and then we want to put that out to the Australian people and show them a model that we can step with, a model that we can walk to, and something that can free us all. So we're not stopping. We keep, we're going to keep going. And um, as we break through, we're going to ex always extend our hand to the Australian people and, and invite everyone to come along on the journey. Um, the um, Again, the donation... Um, uh, the donation um, links are, are on our website. Um, just checking out for any more questions. And thank you. There's a lot of people on here saying that they will donate. If you if you do donate, um, please take our donate link and share it with all your friends. Email it out. We really need to get the elders there because they're the they're the important part of this gathering. Um, um, yeah, so look, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go much longer. I'll, I'll, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say bye now. Um, but I'm gonna get back on here. We're gonna do some more, um, put out some more stuff in relation to, um, what's going on in Ellis. And please get behind Ellis Springs. If we really want to work together and we really want to bring our freedom, um, forward, we have to, we have to get our elders there. We have to get the law people there. These are the bosses that hold the indisputable, unquestionable, um, law for this country and we can't go forward without them and we and we can't we can't make decisions without their guidance and their direction um so so we um we really need to um pull together get everybody's help and um and and um get those get those law people there because they are the power they are the they are the key um um yeah but um again i've, I've said it a few times Please go onto our website, the original Sovereign Tribal Federation um, webpage. There is a donate link up there. Um, please donate. Please help. Get our elders there. Mm -hmm. We're going to document this um, this journey. We're mm -hmm. going to put it out to the world, and, and we're going to um, um, come come out of this gathering with a very very strong, um, clear direction on 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 how we how we can go forward. So um, look. Um, not that I've been talking to anyone, but good to, good to talk to you all. Good to update you. I'll be back on here um, over the next few days with some other people, putting out some more information and making sure that we can um, we can all work together to get to where we need to get to. So that's that's the that's the update from me. And um, I just want to again leave you all with my love, respect, look after each other, look after your families, love your children, protect all the children, and don't forget people. Don't forget, the real pandemic on this planet is the sick shit that's happening to the children. I, I, I say this every time I'm on here. That's why I'm in this fight. We've got to protect the children. And when we stand up against this tyranny and we stop all these corporate globalist um, agendas, we also stop the sickness that's harming many, many children, all right, many children around the planet. And even in Australia, we lose a lot of children every year and there's a lot of bad stuff going on. So don't forget what the real pandemic is here. It's the child abuse. It's the child murders. It's the stuff that's going on. And I don't want to leave on a negative note, but I just want to remind everyone, if you, if you need to dig deep, and you need to find motivation to push this fight over the line and to win it, look at the children. That's who we're doing it for. And not just for the ones being abused, but we're doing this for our children and our grandchildren and the future generations. And that's why we need to stand together and that's why we need to work as one and not give in. 
for the children. So love to all the children out there. Love to everyone out there. Please have a good night. Take care. Um, thanks for listening in and share this if you've recorded it. Okay. Take care. Bye. You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody and stain from the people who deceive me. Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me.